Hello everybody, my name is Jesus on the Swag, and if you've seen the title of the video, uh, yes, I finally got a PlayStation 4. So, if you know me, or you don't know me, well, I will let you go ahead, let you guys know on a brief moment real quick, that I collect a lot of games, I'm an old head, okay, I've been born in the year 2000, I will collect a lot of stuff, okay, so, at the moment right now, I have every single PlayStation, I have... The Sega Dreamcast, the Nintendo GameCube, Nintendo Switch, and finally, I have every Xbox. The original, the, the Xbox 360, and the Xbox One. I don't have the Xbox Series X because I don't want that one. But, for now, I have every Xbox, every PlayStation, and I love them. And, when I finally, like, <laughs> this was like, like, I'm gonna explain, like, what happened. I don't want to make this a story time video, but I guess I'll make this a story time video. I guess. I guess it's a story time. Is it? Whatever. I guess it is. But, um, yeah, I, I finally got paid. I was hunting. Like, I was, I went up towards, like, I actually called the game spot. I'm like, hey, do I have any places for us in stock? They said, yeah, we got a couple. I'm like, oh. Oh, this is different. Oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, do you have any original Xboxes in stock? Yeah, we got one in stock right now. Uh, 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 oh, oh. Big bet. I bet. So, <laughs> this is what I did. I literally did this. I kid you not. I legit did this. I went out my way, and I went out, and I bought both. I bought both the original Xbox and the PlayStation 4. So, I just want to go ahead and talk about and focus the PlayStation 4. Now, I'm an old head, okay? I like the original PlayStation controllers. I like the original, you know, the way how it looked. And I went and I understood. Sorry, I'm speaking a little too fast. I understood and I learned how it evolved, you know, from the first PlayStation where it had nothing but D pad and the. Uh, had buttons and then it had grew into having the analogs. And then it moved to the PlayStation 2, and it changed for that one. Then the PlayStation 3, it had the home button. So I understood on how it worked. But the PlayStation 4, I... Pff, like, when I first saw the PlayStation 4, I immediately hated the fucking model. I hated the console, and I hated the model of the fucking controller. So, let, uh, let me put let me go ahead and put y'all guys in my perspective. Okay? I... If you haven't been watching my channel, or you've been watching my channel for a good amount of time, you know that I've been basically making a large, uh, a large amount of PlayStation 2 content so far, and I love the PlayStation 2 because, well, not only did I grow up with it, I love the controller. I love the model of the controller. The PlayStation 2 and 3 are the best Sony controllers I've ever played in my entire life. The PlayStation 1, I like it even without the analog sticks on it. I still love the controller. It's really good. It's not bad. It's not too bulky. But then when the PlayStation 3 controller, see, if I was to play like Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies or something, I would have to switch my controls from like L2 and R2 to L1 and R1 because sometimes it just feels like sometimes that for the PlayStation 3 controller, it feels like that I'm, I've, it, seriously, I kid you not, I feel like that I would just straight up mash the fucking back triggers so hard that they would flick up and the button would like just straight up pop out of the controller. I feel I I like I kid you not because I'm so free. Like hey on, oh, oh, I got this this right here. Okay, this this is the sound effect of the PlayStation 2 controller, and I'm just pressing R2. Okay, and no, I'm not trying to do ASMR. I'm just trying to show an example. This is the PS3 controller, and this is the back controller. This is R2. I'm pressing. You may not know the difference, but if you hold at least a PS2 to a PS3 controller, it just doesn't feel right. It, it actually makes me think I'm going to break it. So, that's why I be switching my controls on there. And still, I love the controls. I still love it. They still seem simple enough. And then the PS4. What the hell? 
just, what the fuck? I hate the PS4 controller with all my fucking might. Now, I know you're gonna be asking me, Oh, Sonic Swag, why did you buy the PS4 if you know you're gonna hate the controller? I don't have a PS4. That's why. Right. See, I, I just don't have a PS4. I just don't have a PS4. Even though I could bypass the controller, I still would, you know, use it. See, I will make a side-by-side -side comparison to the PS4 controller, to the PS3 controller. It's that it has all the controls, all the buttons, and I kid you not, I remember I did this when I was playing H1Z1 back in the day, when I first, uh, first encountered a PS4, well, one of my brothers had it. I couldn't see the R, the back triggers, they still did the same thing with the R, with the uh, L2 and R2 button, and they have like these four buttons in the front, which is share, option, and, excuse me, and the uh, PlayStation button. There's four buttons? I, I was trying to figure out, where's the fourth button? Where's select? So, in my mind, you know, if, if I played, that was like, what, around a time when, uh, I think it was around the same time when I started playing Fortnite, it was like around, like, not, I can't remember exactly what year, but I know it started in season five. It was around the time when I was trying to, cause see, look, I was trying to find a select button, and if you played on the PS3, the fucking three buttons that popped up on the PlayStation 3 would show select, start, and the PlayStation button. Here on the PS4, there's sheer options and the PlayStation button with this big ass rectangle on the front, front of the controller. I didn't even know, like, I don't know where the select button is. Where's the select button? They like, it. it's that right there. Where? It's on your thumb. This? This is select? This thing in the middle of the controller is select. How is anyone supposed to figure this out? You mean this big ass shit, this tiny ass share button is supposed to just say PlayStation clip? PlayStation record? That's what this is? Instead, what the fuck is this model? Like, why could they just fucking copy everything for the PS3 controller and actually had the share button at, at least in the middle on top like it's so awkward look man they could have just made a, an entire model without this big ass rectangle in the fucking front of the controller because not only that it see i'm going from playing the xbox or i'm going from playing the xbox one to playing a ps3 to playing this the fucking select button is in the middle of the fucking controller while the share and option buttons are way too close to the D-pad and the square and triangle buttons. I can't, uh, I, uh, I, oh my god, it's, it's so fucking awkward. I can't tell, like, bro, you have to, <sighs> let me calm down. <clears throat> See, if you have an actual controller with an actual select button, a button that does select, right? A select button from the PlayStation 3, or if you look at a, a, um, Xbox One, or Xbox 360, if you look at the fucking pass controllers, you will see a literal select button. Like, even the Nintendo Switch, with, uh, with the fucking Pro Joy-Con controllers, they still have a select button. <sighs> If they would just invent a PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, a retro flashback controller, then Sony would have a ton of money in their pocket. You know, they would be flying in the bank. The same with, like, seriously, if you look at Microsoft, they already got a retro co controller for the Xbox One. Seriously. If, if Microsoft can do it, Sony can do it. It's not that fucking hard. Sony was the fucking king in my timeline, and I know for sure, I know for sure that fucking Sony can make a fucking old school retro flashback fucking PS2, PS3 model. It's not that stupid. It's not that fucking hard. Nintendo Wii has done it multiple occasions, and they have fucking adapters that will work on the fucking Wii, on Nintendo, um, Nintendo Switch. So you can use GameCube controllers on Nintendo Switch. Not that fucking hard, Sony. Microsoft and Sony and Microsoft and fucking Nintendo can do it. Sony, y'all niggas can do it. <sighs> I'm sorry. 
Fuck, I hate that, man. So, past the controller, okay? I, I'm going to go back into the past, about when I first got introduced into the game. When I got introduced into the um, the PlayStation 4, th- that was around the time when, Tek- when the Tekken 7 trailer had popped off and came out. I remember it was like... <sighs> It was cool to see the trailer, and I was surprised there were going to be another Tekken game, and I, I wanted to get it so badly. Then, what, Mortal Kombat X was popping off as well. There was so many games that was popping off, especially when they kept saying PlayStation exclusive. I mean, yay, everything comes first for PlayStation 4. I mean, hell, if you think about it, Call of Duty Vanguard, which I'm not going to get, that game, you can play the beta on PlayStation 4 right now. I'm not playing it on the PlayStation 4 because I don't want to play that game. I rather prefer playing Black Ops 3 Zombies on the Xbox 360. I was about to say Nintendo. (laughs) I prefer playing that than me playing anything else. Seriously, I don't want to play Vanguard. I don't want to play Modern Warfare. Oh my God. When I played Call of Duty Modern Warfare, that game was just fucking trash. I hated playing that one. Oh. Man, I would rather play Mortal Kombat 6 or some shit. That's deception, whatever. Um, Besides all that, yeah, I remember when I had first played it, played the uh, original, the original, uh, not the original, but I played on the PlayStation 4 in the past. The few games I played was Street Fighter 5, which I didn't like. And then, what? Uh, it was Mortal Kombat X, which I was terrible at. And what else did I play? What else did I play? I think it was uh, Dynasty Warriors Empire. I think. I know I didn't. No, 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 no. I did not play that. It was the King of Fighters. I forgot exactly which one it was, but it was the King of Fighters. There's a fucking ton of them. SNK. What the fuck? There's so many games that y'all made. There's a large amount. There's like fucking the king of fighters 95 to the king of fighters fucking 20 i don't know which one i played i know it was on the ps4 though it had like some guy in a white coat and he was on the cover of the game i played that one uh when i first played street fighter 5 i i'll be honest i hate street fighter i always hated street fighter since street fighter 4 i hate street fighter I, I'm not a Street Fighter person. If you see any of my content, you will never find Street Fighter at all in my in my channel at all. I mean, I'll probably play it, but I just don't like Street Fighter at all. Especially when on the 360 and PS3, when they release Street Fighter 4, Super Street Fighter 4, Ultra Street Fighter 4. I, what? The game was already hard before Super Street Fighter 4 came out. Seriously, the game was actually mad hard. It's not made for rookies past all that leading up to now i bought the ps4 i bought the xbox one (sighs) the experience the welcome i got from the ps4 so i got the ps4 i hooked it up anybody could call me a dumbass but i hooked it up and i put my android core into the playstation and for some reason, the controller just wouldn't respond. Just god damn it. The first five minutes of me trying to fucking start playing this goddamn PS4. Finally, I get a PS4. But the first five minutes of me even trying to even get this thing working is that the controller is mad dead. Like, I, 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 can't, press the, I can't press the PS4 button. I can't press the home button. Because this controller is dead. So, I have it plugged in, and it's telling me, like, okay, plug it in into the system, and it's plugged in, right? It's charging, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't have it. I, I never owned the PS4 before. And I press the home button, and it's, it just, just dies. So, I guess I'll just have to wait for it to charge, I guess. Sony, what the fuck? How am I supposed to read, read it in English or my native region, you know, language? When you're gonna cycle through the whole shit over and over and over. I can only see it once right here. Connect to PS4 controller using the USB port, then press the PS button. Okay. But you keep flashing this shit and I'm trying to read it and I can't when I once I press it, it just dies. I tried holding it, it's not working. I tried I, I even switched like 
as you can see, I got another Android cord. I tried to switch it, switch Android cords, and it does the same thing. So, I, I don't know, man. God damn it. So, as you can see, I just started having trouble. I was pissed off. Everything that I wanted to work with this PS, with this PS4, the controller just wouldn't work. So, I went out my way and I took it back. Got my, I had my receipt. I took it back and I got in a whole another controller as a replacement. I took it back and it did the actual same thing. I I was so mad. I didn't know what else to do. I didn't know what to do. So I got so hyped that I got a PlayStation 4, but I was so pissed off that the controller just didn't want to turn on or work. So I just called my friend. I'm not going to say his name because I want to keep him anonymous. I He has a PlayStation 4 that he owns. So I had called him and he and I was having so much problems trying to figure this out okay everything started to work so the controller was turning on for a little bit started blinking about six times i can make it turn into bluetooth it can connect to my phone it, it just won't connect to the game you know what i had to do i had i did this my friend told me to go out to the store buy an android cord and use that i kept seeing thousands and thousands of articles of people saying okay there's ways that you can turn your controller on there's ways you can connect to your controller Okay, but the way how to actually work your controller is buying a new Android cord, plug it into the PlayStation 4, plug it into the PlayStation 4 controller, and then press the PlayStation button. What the fuck? No, it, there's no manual that says that shit. Not even a manual even they sits of doing that. Seriously. Oh, and if you're gonna ask me, did the did the uh, game store provide me with an Android cord? Oh yeah, they they did. Thinking about it, they, yeah, I can remember. They give they gave me one, but it didn't make it to the bag. They didn't put it in a box. Hell, I still got the PlayStation 4 controller box. They didn't even put it in the box. So I was stuck. I didn't have to get another controller. The controller that came with the console was already good enough. Instead. I had to go out my way to get a replacement to make me think and I thought that it was broken it's not broken it just wouldn't connect so I had to get a whole other cord what the fuck what kind of fucking mathematistic bullshit is that it makes no sense I had to get a whole it's like seriously think about this to solve your problem right you use any Android cord you use any iPhone cord, and not only is it universal, except for Androids, because, you know, there's Type A and Type C, cords are universal as long as it works. Not for fucking PlayStation controllers, not for Sony. You had to get a fresh, out-the-box Android cord to work the fucking game. It makes no sense. <laughs> What? What? I, I, I'm still stuck. It did my experience. Well, I only got like one clip of it, but this is my experience of the first thing that I saw. Shit! I look up fucking damn PlayStation 2. They gave me 2K. They gave me WWE 2K. What? As you can see, that is what I have. I have the PlayStation 4. My experience was fucked up and right now i only have two games currently which is Mortal Kombat xl and tekken 7 now i just found out that i do need a playstation plus membership and for me i think the the playstation 4 is useless in my eyes because the games that i bought for my ps3 are not com it's not even not even close to fucking backwards compatible it's not even close i was so pissed off and i want to i want to go ahead and tell you guys a short story i was in this place I, i'm not gonna say where but i was in this place where basically i was supposed to get into a trade and um 
me and this guy physically traded consoles, okay? He wanted to play on my PlayStation 2, and I was like, cool, I'll play on your PlayStation 4. We traded consoles, and I put a PlayStation 2 game inside of it, didn't read it, okay? It says that it's, un it's an unsupported disc, okay? It doesn't take PS2 games, okay? What if I put a PS1 game in there? So, unsupported disc. What the fuck? Unsupported? What do you mean? So I took it out, and then I started trying to look for games. There's no retro games. The only retro game I found on there, besides GTA and all the iconic games that I know, is what? Deception? Which is basically Trapped? I mean, I've played that game and I like it, but that's the only retro game besides GTA 3 and Vice City and fucking 3? The only... The only literal retro game from the PS3 besides God of War is Deception. Timco's Deception 4. Okay, alright bro, this thing is useless as fuck to me. Not only that, but I could have sworn that playing online was free. I thought that having, because I think this was before they changed everything. From my memory, you don't need PlayStation Plus to play online. All you just need is the game and you play online. That's that's how it worked for the PlayStation 3, right? No, it doesn't work for the PlayStation 4. You need PlayStation Plus to play online to get exclusive free games. I did not know that because again, I was from on Microsoft. I thought only Microsoft was only doing that shit like Xbox Live and Xbox Game Pass. See, because now everybody's using Xbox Ultimate because it get Game Pass and Goal at the same time. Again, a huge what the fuck, Sony. I didn't know that. You could have clarified that shit instead. Oh, you can play it for free online by playing on a PS3. Just need network connection. I mean, yeah, on the PS3, there are some servers that are down. The same with on the Xbox 360, there are some servers that are down that you can't play. Halo <laughs> Reach. And I seriously don't understand why you can't have any fun factor by doing that there's no bypassing that shit so i have to actually get a psn plus membership for no reason just to play online i just dropped my scissors so yeah i i, I if there is somebody out there that can help me find a retro flashback or basically a ps2 ps3 controller that is supportive for the ps4 i would applaud to you if you can help me find one because i'm still looking for one and not to say that the ps4 controller is trash because it still is the fucking middle is trash you don't need a share button you literally just fucking tap the fucking home button or some shit i it, i'm just, man if they didn't have this big ass useless fucking square, this giant rectangle touchpad that is so useless, mind you, it only works on certain games, only on certain exclusive specific games that are only on the fucking PlayStation 4 <laughs> that can work this touchpad. And not only that, the fucking playroom that is automatically installed into your PS4, that game is always also useless. I didn't know it's useless because you need a fucking camera. Yes, the PS4 needs a camera. What the hell? I thought only the PS2, PS3 only had those things. You know, with those adapters like the PlayStation iToy, which I do have two of those things, which is fucking awesome. I still have the games for it. And for the fucking PS3, they had like those Wii controllers. I mean, I can understand that because some games do require motion controls. The same with, like, on the PS3 controller, there are some features for a game that does require motion controls. But for this fucking controller, all it requires is either the motion controls or the fucking touchpad, which is useless because most games that are out on the PS4 doesn't even require those. So... Why have this stupid exclusivity that doesn't make any sense? It just looks so ass in my eyes. <sighs> so, yes, I have it. I own it. And I'm going to close this video because I'm making it way too long. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out, y'all.